A trucker who traps child predators in his spare time has taken his vigilante work to an Albuquerque truck stop. Truck stop. New video showing him catching a pervert in a sting is going viral. News 13's Courtney Allen tells you how law enforcement feels about it. The state attorney general's office knows we have a problem here. They receive about 100 tips a month for internet crimes against children. Now a trucker is taking the law into his own hands. Months of messages. I have 10 online decoys and what they do is they download popular apps that all of our kids use and thousands of miles. I live in St. Louis and I drive to California, so I run 40 straight through New Mexico every week. All leads up to this. What? Is this the first time you're trying to meet a child? Yes. A trucker from Missouri confronting a man in Albuquerque who allegedly showed up to meet an underage girl for sex at a truck stop near the Big Eye late last yeah, night. She said she was 18. Number one, she did not say she was eight. She said she was 15, but she now you're saying she was 15. Anthony Green with Truckers Against Predators has a team that poses as children online to lure in predators and expose them. When Green confronts them along his route, he broadcasts it to tens of thousands on Facebook Live. They call us vigilantes. Well, we're not we're not vigilantes. We turn a camera on. Green says this is the eighth state he's hit, conducting more than 100 stings. Police in Arizona even credited the group for two arrests in December. But law enforcement here says it's not the best route. It is very dangerous for them to do something like that. They have no idea what they're walking into. Anthony Mays with the New Mexico Attorney General's Office says this video does them no good under state law. It isn't a case that we could prosecute because the statute clearly states that it it has to be law enforcement or an actual child themselves that's being preyed upon. Green says regardless, he is going to continue to stop in New Mexico to expose people like this. I wasn't going to do anything with her. No, you watch TV. We're just going to keep pushing until they change the laws. Green says he started the group about a year and a half ago. He says as a father to a 13 year old girl and a survivor of child sexual abuse himself, he's going to keep fighting to make a difference. Courtney Allen, KRQE News 13. Green says he sent those chat logs to APD, but he has not heard back. And we did reach out to APD for a comment, but did not get a response.